Okay guys, welcome. It's Vince Del Monte from Your Six Pack Quest. Welcome to another video coaching lesson. Today we're gonna talk about fat loss for idiots. And I wanna offer a disclaimer. This video lesson is not intended to personally offend anybody. It's intended to reveal the truth about fat burning. And let me ask you, think about the people you know who are ripped, shredded, have a six pack, are they not fit as well? One of the keys to getting a six pack is to develop this kind of mindset. If you wanna look fit, you've gotta be fit. All across the world there's people on treadmills, rowers, bicycles, ellipticals, with the attempt of losing body fat. And if you guys notice behind me, you probably notice people walking at a pace that's probably burning two or 300 calories per hour. There's people who are socializing with their friends, more interested in watching TV than actually working out. And I gotta be honest, do you think this is the way athletes train? Do you think this is the way bodybuilders and fitness models get the fat off their body? Where is the intensity, guys? Where is the intensity? Don't get me wrong, cardio will play a role in losing body fat, but doing outrageous amounts of cardio to try and get a six pack is what I call fat loss for idiots. So let me explain the three reasons why fat loss is so ineffective. As a primary source for cardio, don't get me wrong, in conjunction with high intensity weight training and a low calorie diet and a lifestyle that's conducive to getting a six pack, that whole package is important. But cardio in itself is the least, let me repeat that, least effective way of burning fat for the, these reasons. Reason number one, the more cardio you do, the more efficient your body becomes. So let's take one of these girls here who are actually working at a fairly good rate. When she started running on the treadmill, maybe a year ago, she might have burned 500 calories in an hour. Now she's doing a similar workout one year later and she might only be burning 400 calories. The second problem is that there's no caloric expenditure when the workout's over. And when you're thinking fat loss, how many hours are there in the day? There's 24 hours in the day. And for most people here, they're only working out three or four times a week. And even if they are working out for one hour a day, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. They're burning 500 calories an hour. That works out to 2,000 calories per week. How many calories are there in a pound of fat? 3,500. So for most people in this gym, they're gonna lose maybe one pound of body fat every week, week and a half. Is that fast enough for you? For most people, it's not. Especially if you're starting around two, 300 pounds and you wanna drop a little quicker. The third problem with cardio is that the more you do, the more muscle you strip off your body. And the problem with that is that the only way we know to keep fat off your body is by adding muscle to your body. And when you strip muscle from your body, your metabolism slows. So it's like a double-edged sword. Those are the three reasons you don't wanna rely on cardio as your primary source of fat loss. If you wanna see my unique way of doing cardio for fat loss and for getting a six pack, Go to YourSixPackQuest.com, download the program, and you'll notice one of the bonus features is what I call my killer cardio core workout. And it incorporates some very, very unique training methods that incorporate cardio and core training into the same workout in a very unique way with some old school, really clever techniques I guarantee you've never seen before in any magazine, nor has any trainer ever showed you. You're gonna have to witness the power of these results on your own, so check it out. And uh, after a couple of weeks, write to me. I'd love to know your experience and I'd love to see your pictures. And good luck for your six pack quest.